Hi guys, today in this video, I'll tell you whether you need eARC for Dolby Atmos or you can get by with just ARC. Instead of eARC, you can use HDMI ARC to stream Dolby Atmos audio. HDMI ARC uses the Dolby Digital Plus sound format to transmit Atmos audio. Simply ensure that the TV and soundbar both support ARC signals. The TV must also support the Dolby Digital Plus sound codec. Essentially, there are two versions of Dolby Atmos, compressed and sent using Dolby Digital Plus. This is what the vast majority of streaming sites use including Netflix, Apple TV, Amazon, etc. eARC is not required for this. Regular RC can send this perfectly from your Atmos source device, whether it's your Apple TV or internal TV apps if your TV supports it. Full Dolby Atmos, this is uncompressed Dolby Atmos. This obviously sounds better, but it consumes a lot more data. The only way of getting this is if you have a 4K Blu-ray player. For this, you need to send the uncompressed audio to a soundbar from your Blu-ray player. To do this, you need eARC. An eARC soundbar is backwards compatible. If the TV does not support eARC, it falls back to regular ARC. Now you know you can get Dolby Atmos without HEMI eARC, let's talk about how to use HEMI ARC to get Dolby Atmos sound. The HEMI ARC uses the Dolby Digital Plus audio format to produce Dolby Atmos sound. This codec transmits compressed data from the TV to the soundbar, which is decompressed at the destination and provides surround sound effects. This audio codec uses two different decompression methods, lossy and lossless. While there is some data loss with both of these compression methods, the latter keeps the most of the original file's information. In order to use HEMI ARC to access Atmos sound in a home theater, the following conditions must be met. Both devices connected to the HDMI cable must support ARC signals. If you want to connect your soundbar to a TV, look for an HDMI ARC port on both. Your TV must be capable of transferring Dolby Digital Plus signals. You won't be able to achieve Atmos sound if it only supports Dolby Digital or any other codecs that came before that. You can check this detail in TV's manual or by contacting the manufacturer. After you've confirmed all of this information, connect the TV and soundbar to access Atmos sound via HDMI ARC. I hope this video has cleared up your confusion. I would appreciate if you like this video and subscribe to Hi-Fi Audios for more videos like this.